fairly close to the final design and setup for the uh, fire control group. This is really the only part of the, the original plans that I'm using and I've made some changes to that to make it uh, in my mind work a little easier. It's not saying that the plans don't work just that after looking at them I've decided that uh, to make it work seems to be a bit more effort than I'm willing to take. So I will detail how I've done this in the, in the next video when I have it installed in the gun. But I kind of want to show you some of the things I do for spring design. Uh, I was fairly successful with the Cricut 25 in, in winding these little springs. And I want to show you uh, how I do that because I'm getting close to now having to create some little coil springs for the hammer and for the sear itself. I've gone to a compression spring for the for the disconnect. Um, again, I'll detail this on the next video. So here's how I work the 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 springs. On the Cricut 25, I used this little high density polyethylene block and ran a drill. This is actually the the winding mandrel, and I'm using the shank of the drill uh, bit itself drill through the piece of plastic and then lock it in place with a set screw and then set some other screws up. These are all very uh, easy to self tap into plastic uh, to retain the, the one tang or whatever the one end of the of the wire and uh, it works really well. Just you mount it back on the on the drill press chuck and then just wind it around by hand until you get the right angle, the number of coils that you want and, uh, and then cut it off and, and release it off of there. So that's worked out really well. Uh, I'm going to carry on that idea and I've modified it a little bit. So back to my trusty drill press. I've mounted a, a hole saw in the, in the chuck. I'm not sure what size that is. Two, two and a half inches maybe. I don't think the size is important. I'm going to cut some circles out of this plastic here, this high density polyethylene that was kindly donated by a friend that was working on another project. This is similar to a butcher or cutting board material. It's really quite tough and uh, machines very, very well. trim that melted plastic off. So I've cut a number of them for different sizes of springs that I may want to make. I'm going to just use uh, the one size right now. I'm going to wind around these 930 second posts. I'm using the, actually the shank part of the drill for these shafts or these pivots. Just trimming them off. So what I've done is I've drilled a hole right through there and then another hole there to lock that in place again I said these are these self tap really really nice into the plastic just cut a, an undersized hole and uh, and in they go so that's now retained in there like that I have the uh, winding mechanism mounted in the drill press the vice grips that I can pull on it once I get a coil or two, keep good tension on it. There, and just start winding. The eccentric shape allows you to actually get some leverage on it, which is okay. I'm going to put three coils on this one.
There we go. Nice little wound spring. Now I just wound that spring just for demonstration purposes, but it almost looks like it'll work for this application. There's the hammer spring there. Be a post here to provide tension on on the one arm here. So that looks like that might just be what I need to do.